Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be taking a pair of my old trainers. Um, these were uh, from 2008 um, and they're in a bit of a sorry old state. They're, uh, as you can see, they've been a bit crushed. They're quite dirty inside and the soles are in quite a mess. And I'm going to try and clean them and get them looking really, really good, as good as I possibly can. Um, these Adidas trainers are just, they're so, the colors are so vibrant. Um, I really, really love them, but Unfortunately, when I bought them, the actual size was a tiny bit too snug for me. Um, these are like ten and a half, and I'm more an eleven, so I never ended up wearing them that often. Um, so I reckon I probably wore these maybe a dozen times, something like that. So they've got wear on them, but not lots of wear. But I would uh, really like to uh, see these get um, restored back to their former glory, looking a bit better, and then I'm going to. Um, or uh, we'll pass them on possibly to a friend at work or I might even stick them up online and uh, treat myself to a new pair of Adidas trainers because I do love the brand. So as we go through the process I'll uh, just explain exactly what I'm doing and then uh, we'll let the uh, well the actions speak for themselves and this is really straightforward obviously I'm just stripping out the shoelaces at the moment. And when you get those away, you can see the uh, the dust and dirt on the tongues there. Yeah, you can see it there. So that's just accumulated dirt that's happened over the years. Inside, the soles aren't too bad. The inner soles. They're still stuck in not come loose and they're not really showing a lot of wear just a little bit on the heels once again the uh, the sort of the soles have almost completely yellowed i um, very unusual i don't know if that's a common thing with trainers such as these but that's the laces out and we'll put them to one side for now. Very, very dusty and dirty on the tongues there again. The size label there. So this is just a soft brush. This is one that I would use uh, to polish say black shoes um, I, this wouldn't be the polish one I'd have another one for the polish and this would be the one that I would use sort of to buff up the polish and uh, it's a really really good soft bristle brush which gets into a lot of like nooks and crannies very very easy to use and extremely effective but because it's soft it's not going to cause it's not abrasive it's not damaging the shoe in any way it, but it is sort of lifting the initial layer of, of dirt and dust. You can sort of see that happening already. And then in the little crannies in, I'm just using an old toothbrush. I use this one in a lot of my sort of repair and restoration videos, particularly like rubbing the tops of books, for example, to get layers of dust off. Same sort of principle here. I'm just uh, getting into those little um, seams which are difficult to get with the bigger brush. to the shoe a little brush now. And the suede certainly didn't seem too bad under the uh, spotlights there. But the yellow flashes on the side have got um, marks on as well, which you're going to need getting off. But the, the soft brush did absolutely fantastic, I have to say, getting that initial sort of layer of, of dust off. 
you can just see I've done this on a black surface you can see the dirt and grime that's starting to come off it and uh, it is quite amazing certainly the soles of the shoes definitely needed quite a bit of work the insides as well with the toothbrush little bits of cotton and thread that have uh, worked themselves out I'm going to address those but nothing too serious this on the other shoe now Once again, using that handy toothbrush to get into all the little nooks and crannies. Very, very useful. Now, although it's a little bit difficult to pick up on the camera, the actual level of dust that this, this soft brush took off the suede is incredible. It really did make a difference up close. any bits and bobs out of the uh, the soles I don't think the soles were dirty like that they just appear to have aged which is uh, why I think they've gone that sort of weird yellow color rather than being a lot whiter than they were but we'll uh, we'll address that a little bit later once again just look on the the cardboard how much mess there was there was loads you know so uh, I'm just getting a like a craft knife now, a scalpel, and I'm just going to uh, pick off a few bits of uh, the cotton threads, which had just uh, got a little bit loose. It doesn't take a moment, but it does pay to have a nice sharp knife on hand. Scissors will work just as well, but I think you get a bit more accuracy with uh, a little craft knife like this. Obviously, just be very, very careful. 
So there we are, that's pretty much all the surface dust taken off as much as I can on that one. A little bit of rubber on the bottom there which I'm going to peel off. Just to keep it flush. So now I've got my Dyson, little handheld vacuum. This one's got um, a brush on the end, and as well as uh, brushing up the cardboard, I am uh, rubbing it over the surface of the shoes, um, over every little nook and cranny, just to get any sort of little bits of dust and, and dirt, because before I actually clean these with any liquid, the last thing I want is to be grinding any sort of dirt and grime into them to make them even worse. So I want them as, as clean as I possibly can be before I do that, and that's what this is doing. I'll swap off the attachment now for the little one so I can uh, slip that inside the shoe there was uh, dust and dirt inside there as well. I want these as clean inside and out. I want them as immaculate as possible for their 13 years of age. There we are. Now this next step is optional but I would definitely recommend it so I've just got a little saucer of uh, water there. I'm popping in a few drops of um, detergent, washing up liquid, and then I'm going to use my toothbrush there and just mix that in so the water is heavily diluted with washing up liquid. And then I'm taking um, a little bit of bicarbonate of soda, um, I'm going to add some of that to the liquid there, um, not, a, not a lot, you know, like a, a couple of sugar cubes worth, and uh, mix that in as well. And the bicarbonate of soda it will just give the mixture a bit of a fizz, it is an active ingredient and um, it's very very handy to clean up um, stains and rubber I have found in the past. I've used this um, to great effect cleaning old Star Wars figures for example. Uh, that exact mixture with a bit of hot water with those. Um, the water I'm using here is just normal cold tap water but um, you know the actual ingredients itself when you rub it on like the way that I'm doing it now with the toothbrush um, it will do its thing so I put it on and I basically just leave it for a little bit of time just to sort of let it fizz and uh, go around all the uh, rubber edges basically on the entire shoe. Don't worry about getting some onto the suede because um, once I finish the entire process I will, the, the last basic step of the process is to just um, wash the shoe um, under a tap um, very carefully of course but not actually machine wash it I don't think these warranted it um, but I did just hand wash them under a tap with just some normal warm uh, soapy water uh, just to get all of this off. Now this is where you'll see the bicarbonate of soda really work its stuff. Um, I'm gently uh, popping it in with the um, toothbrush here. I'm using plenty of it as well um, and I'm just basically working it into the, the sole of the shoe. And you can sort of see, you remember how yellow that was? And uh, as I'm putting it in, I'm just working my way up to the top and the stuff at the bottom is, uh, is really doing its stuff. Although this process is sort of edited just to show you what I was going through, the whole process probably took 20 minutes. I took about 10 minutes on each shoe to really work it in, go back to the start and go through it again. And each time I did it, the, the sole of the shoe was getting better and better. So I just pop that one to one side and while I started on the other one, as I said, I allowed about 10 minutes on each one. I just got off the little bits of, uh, um, there are a few odd marks on the, the yellow flashing there. Now I'm doing the tongue. Once again, although we cleaned it out, um, 
I just got the dust out. It, it wasn't actually clean. It hadn't been polished up. And that's what this uh, this does. shoes for 13 years I couldn't for the life of me identify exactly what type they were so a friend of mine at work called George he's uh, he's a real Adidas shoe buff he's got about 30 pairs himself and uh, I sent him some photos and he said oh yeah I think I got to the bottom of it <laughs> but it even took him a little bit of time Now we're just repeating the same process on this one. to say cleaning these shoes there was something incredibly satisfying about bringing these back to life and uh, I think if I do another one of these I'm going to find a pair which are in a much worse state <laughs> possibly one of my son's pairs of shoes because they get in a right state he, uh, he plays a lot of football so he's got some football boots um, so maybe that'll be a, a future project do let me know down in the comments if uh, you'd like to see me do more of this sort of restoration it certainly makes a change from doing lots of books which I uh, do lots of on the channel I have also restored some uh, Star Wars ships and an old Masters of the Universe Castle Greyskull so uh, do look for those on the channel as well once again I'm just going through the process now of working in the bicarbonate of soda and the washing up liquid mixture into every little bit of the heel there to try and get rid of that yellowy staining which is just age it's just that the, the rubber aging and this uh, will sort of sharpen it up a little bit process did take about 10 minutes you're just sort of seeing a little highlight of it but just in your mind's eye there take a little mental photograph of how yellow and discolored that sole was So that's the sole's been uh, well and truly scrubbed. So I'm just uh, dabbing off a bit of the excess water. I said it is that bicarbonate mixture. 
and some of it seeped through onto the suede but there's nothing to worry about it's not going to stain it as I said I'm going to wash the shoes in a minute I didn't film that bit of the process but as you can see I just washed them and then left them to dry for 24 hours naturally I didn't bother washing the laces they didn't really need it I just sort of um, tidied them up uh, with the brush but I could quite easily have put those through the wash if I wanted to but they really weren't that bad I just gave them a little bit of a, a brush and uh, it took all the little bits of dust and lint off and uh, threaded them back in once the shoes had dried off properly I found this was very very good as well on the soles once I'd done my business on them um, I'd then just uh, use the soft brush to uh, give them a really good final brushing before getting washed and this did make a difference and there they are threaded I put some bubble wrap inside so the shoe keeps its shape but that's much much better in my opinion than how they were and the whole process didn't take longer than you know like an hour or so and then just left to dry overnight but I think they've come up really really nice they've got some shape to them now no real marks the soles much much better if you remember how yellow they were not quite got it all off but I've got a lot of it off they look certainly presentable and I'm very very happy with the result So I hope you've enjoyed watching that process and I hope it gives you uh, a few pointers and maybe gives you a hand in cleaning some of your own trainers. If you have liked today's video, don't forget to leave a comment down below and uh, do give the video a thumbs up. So thank you very much for watching today. Do please consider subscribing for regular restoration content this is just the sort of thing i do on my channel and i'm more than happy to do a bit more bye